North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on Friday inspected an aircraft plant that produces advanced fighter jets in Russia's Far East, after a rare summit with President Vladimir Putin earlier this week. Kim met Putin for four hours on Wednesday afternoon in Vostochny and then left for his next destination in Khabarovsk. Kim arrived in Komsomolsk na Amaray, an industrial city in Khabarovsk, at 8.50 a.m. Friday. Kim got off the train and was welcomed in accordance with tradition for a special guest. Kim traveled by car to the Yuri Gagarin aircraft plant, which produces Russia's most advanced warplanes, including the Soy-35 and the Soy-57 stealth fighter. Besides touring the factory, he also watched a demonstration flight of Soy-35 jets. The visit comes as North Korean watchers said that Kim may be contemplating a way to strengthen the country's air force, which is widely viewed as being the weakest component of Pyongyang's armed forces. The North's air arm is still made up of 1950s-era MiG-15s and MiG-17s, as well as the MiG-21 jets that entered production in 1959, and the MiG-23 jets which was first deployed in 1967. Its most modern jets are the now-outdated MiG-29s. After inspecting the plane factory, Kim departed Komsomolsk na Amaray at 2.34 p.m. and is scheduled to travel by his armored train to Vladivostok to check Russia's Pacific Fleet. Kim is scheduled to arrive in Vladivostok around noon on Saturday. He will leave for North Korea later on the same day. Pyongyang has recently been seeking to bolster military ties in Moscow and doubling down on its weapons development amid growing security cooperation between South Korea, the United States, and Japan. On Thursday, the U.S. Department of Defense warned North Korea that its armed support to Russia would not only prolong the war in Ukraine, but also be tantamount to directly joining the killing of innocent Ukrainians.